Hello everyone, today I want to talk about my favorite um, nude lipsticks that I've been loving. They're under kind of this category. Yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna dive in and talk about all my favorites um, today and I'm also gonna swatch it on myself so you guys can see how it looks like. Yeah, let's get started. So I'm gonna start with just lipstick and then we'll go into um, the liquid lipstick after. Okay, the first one I'm gonna talk about is actually the ColourPop Blotted Lip. I was debating if I should talk about this one because they no longer make it. But I love this one so much that I feel like I need to talk about it. <laughs> so this one is their blotted um, formula. It's a little weird because um, I left it in the car and then it melted. So then it kind of went down the wrong way. But yeah, I'm going to put it on and I'm going to show you guys how it looks like. So this is the finished look. The reason why I love this is because of the formula. Like, it feels really nice on your lips and it actually lasts an entire day. But yeah, moving on to the next one. So the next one I'm going to talk about is actually this one right here. This one, it is the um, lipstick called Laid Over. It's not focusing, but anyway, yeah, there you go. Laid Over and this one is their Lux lipstick series and this is how the color looks like. So I'm just gonna remove my lip right now and then apply this one on. Alright, here I am back with the second color. Um, so this one is called, again, the layover from ColourPop. I freaking love this color, but this is something that you will have to apply throughout the day. This one does not last the entire day. Um, the formula on is the creamier side, so it's not matte, but I I love the color. Like I get complimented a lot when I wear this, this one This one out. gives you a little bit of color. It's like a deeper nude, and I, I like yeah, it. What do you guys think? All right, next we're gonna talk about my all-time favorite since high school. I know. I have had this color for such a long time and it's like my all-time favorite. So this one is, I believe, a lot of people's favorite. This one is from MAC. This is the Velvet Teddy. The Velvet Teddy, yes. I love this one and... Um, this one is like my everyday go-to lipstick like I have one in my purse and then one at home I just freaking love this you color we all familiar with this one because I believe everybody probably has one in their bag but yeah I'm gonna put it on and show you guys Everybody is probably familiar with MAC lipsticks. Um, they have this really unique scent to they it. They said it smells like chocolate, but when you put it on, I think it just smells like lipstick. I guess chocolate lipstick. All right, moving on to the next one. Okay, next I'm gonna talk about this so one. So this one, it is Shumira's, um limited edition holiday for... chocolate collection. Yeah, that. So yeah, I'm gonna apply this one. It, this one smells like a real chocolate, like. It just makes me want to have a lot of chocolate right and now. It actually makes me want to eat it, but I know I can't eat this. Anyway, so I'm just going to apply this on and I'm going to show you guys how it looks like. I freaking love the formula. It like, just applies so well on your lips and it feels so fluffy and velvety and I just love this like even though this one is supposed to be supreme matte and I I love this because it does not feel matte when you apply it it's not drying at all and it just makes you makes your lips feel like they're on they're sitting on a cloud you know and it's such a nice feeling super moisturizing I love this formula like it's so soft and so comfortable to put on like it's great, but I'm not sure if they still have it and I'm sorry to be sharing something they might not have anymore But they have the whole line of the Supreme Matte Lipstick anyway It might not it might not be the same packaging, but I'm pretty sure you can find something similar along with the color This one is Salty. the Caramel uh, Rouge Unlimited Supreme Matte Lipstick Alright, moving on to the next Okay, the next one I'm gonna talk about is actually a sample I got from Sephora. This one is their 503. Oh god, it's so hard to see. But look at how cute this is. Like, I love little lipsticks like this because you put it in your pocket, you put it in your purse. Literally, you will never forget to bring this. And the color is... Oh, I can't see. The color is 503. It's called Ecstasy Shine. Yeah, anyway, I don't know what I was reading. Okay, so the color kind of looks like this. 
It's really beautiful. Little I glitter is on it. I don't know if you can see it. And it's not. That's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna apply it and show you guys. All right. So that's basically um, this one here. This one is a Giorgio Armani. Sorry, it's itchy. This one is the Giorgio Armani one, and I just freaking love little things like this. The only thing that I don't like about this one though, this is one has a little bit of like, you know, really old school lipstick all smells like in that kind of scent. And this is what it has. And I don't know if I like it, but other than that, so next I'm gonna talk about this one here. Um, this is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the color Bahama. I love NARS lip pencils. I actually have like five or six of these. They're all in different colors. This one is one of my go-to that I reach to all the time. The only reason why I haven't been using this one that much is because I lost a sharpener. But yeah, it's just kind of annoying because these ones you have to use the NARS sharpener to sharpen it or else obviously it's not gonna work. So this one, um, yeah, I try not to use it because then I will have to buy a sharpener. Yeah, anyway, so let me apply this and show you guys how it looks like. So the formula for this one, um, as it's called, it is the Velvet Matte Lip. So because it's a little bit more velvety, and it's not drying, it's also really easy to apply and it feels really soft on your lips as well. Yeah, I really love these things. They, again, they don't last all day, so you have to kind of keep applying them over and over again. But because it's in a little pencil form, it's actually really easy to bring with you and it's really small too. It doesn't take up that much of your space. If you have a small purse, it's not chunky. You can just literally just put it in. So yeah, this one is one of my go-to as well. Another fave of mine. Okay, moving on from regular lipsticks, I'm gonna go on with the liquid lip. Um, next one, I'm not really sure actually if it's considered as liquid lip or not, but it's actually the powder lip cream. A lot of brand has came out with these right now, like powder ones, I think Clinique and Buxom. That one's a big one and I've been wanting to purchase that one for a while, but because Shay Mitchell talked about it and I love her, so. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys this one right now. I'm gonna apply it and show you guys. So this one, if you guys have never used a powder cream, I highly suggest you guys to try it. It's super fun to apply. It's like a little sponge on in the front, and you kind of just like dab it all over it. It just feels really comfortable. It feels like you're getting yourself a massage from the sponge for your lips, and I don't know. I love it. I think it's really fun to apply and. Yeah, it's very different than all the regular lipsticks. Moving on, we are going to talk about the liquid lipsticks. And yeah, I only have a couple. So the first one we're going to talk about is another NARS product. This one it is the NARS Get it On Power Matte Lake Pigment. Who is vacuuming the floor right now? Because... Anyway, um, let's ignore that. Um, so I am going to show you guys this one. This one is actually very, very nude. It's like a lot lighter than all the other ones I had. But I love this because it lasts all day. Okay, so let's talk about the formula for this one. Um, this one is obviously a little bit more drying compared to the other ones that we had earlier. It's really hard to find something that's non-drying and still lasts a long time. Um, there might be some out there in the market, but not a lot, especially if they're like a matte liquid lipstick. Um, the tip would be just to apply a lot, a lot of lip balm beforehand. The only thing with that is that the lip stick will last not as long if it's too moist on your... Did I just say the word moist? Sorry. So um, if your lips are a little too moisturized, it's kind of hard for the lips to let that's a long time too. So and these also have the function of non-transfer. I love. Um, so yeah, this one is very nude and it's like a typical nude color that everybody should have in their bag. And I love this one. Okay. Next, I'm gonna talk about this one here. This one is by Smashbox and it is the color um, Stepping Out. I actually have had this one for almost two years now. Technically, it's probably 
expired, but I'm still using it. It's pretty much out though, like it's really really dry in there now, but you can still kind of get some color out, so I'm still trying to, you know, not waste it and use every last bit of it. Um, this one is one of my like most used liquid lipstick of all time. I'm probably gonna get another one soon. Anyway, I'm gonna put it on and show you guys how this one looks like. So this one is a little bit on a deeper nude side, so it's not like a nude nude, but it's more like a browny kind of nude. Almost like a, I don't know, brown? Red? Orange? I'm not sure. But anyway, so this one is their Always On Liquid Lipstick, and as you can tell by the name, Always On, it actually lasts an entire day. I don't really have to do any retouch on this, even after I eat. I like lipsticks that last an entire day, but again, the downside for this one would be drying, because it is, as I'm talking to you right now, I already feel like it's a little drying, but I still love it. Alrighty, moving on, I only have a couple left. Um, this one, it is the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip, so another one of my favorite, favorite, favorite formula from ColourPop. Um, I love their blotted lips. If you have never tried their blotted lips, you have to try it. This is like my favorite formula of all time. Like literally, if you want me to choose only one lipstick to live on forever, and I'm gonna choose their ultra blotted lips because they are very, very long lasting, but they're non-dry. I love these, and the color actually lasts all day, so. Yeah, this is one of my, definitely hands down, my favorite, favorite product from Color Try this one for you guys. This one is more like on a pinkier side. I don't think they sell this one anymore because this one was the, their collab with Eva. Kutowski? Kutowski? Okay, I'm just gonna apply it now. Alright, so I have one last product to show you guys. Um, it is going to be like a topper that I'm just gonna apply this on. This one is basically, I believe everybody's familiar with this one. This one is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Glo Gloss Balm. So yeah, I'm gonna apply this one on top. I usually do this um, in combination with my powder puff. This is actually my favorite combo. But today we're gonna try it with our blotted lip from ColourPop and see how it is going to look. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Um, I basically have shared all my favorite nude lippies of all time. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please um, subscribe to my channel if you can. Um, yeah, I hope you guys can subscribe if you guys want to. If you guys don't want to, that's fine. This is just for fun. Alrighty, um, that's it for today and I will see you guys next time.